Uh, ultimately, the Linux desktop experience is made by programmers for programmers. Right. Unlike the manatees that fucking write <laughs> Windows. And again, if you played with Windows 11, I might be on to something. Welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. I'm Vin, joined every week by Jordan, Wendy, Chainlink, Fence, Spong. George VPN, damn it. George VPN Swan. <laughs> Coming to you live through our new service here at LGC, George VPN. And Pedro, damn it, my mobile just died, Mateus. Yes. Together with you, Shot Realm Dynamic, helping us form Cocaine Voltron. Gentlemen, I discovered something. I got a theory. I got a theory is what I got. Okay. So... I like to go to consignment shops, thrift stores, and like look around. There's always fun stuff there. And one thing I've always looked for, and I've yet to find, do you have a Hawaiian shirt? Like, you know, just a big shouty shirt, right? Even with like palm trees on it or just like 90s color, something like this. Short sure, sleeve. Sure, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I don't own one, but, you know, I, I, I am a yes, fan I of an occasional the, Hawaiian the shirt. Trope. <laughs> right. And I, 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 as, as a fat person, I, 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 know, I, I know them well. They don't make them in like smalls, man. They no, don't make they them don't. in smalls. This is to this date, I've not found like a fun shirt for one of these shows just to have on. It's like that's a silly, you know, especially for the summertime, right? Mm, you want you want something tropical with like sharks or surfboards or yeah, something, something silly like that. And I don't want to buy a new one because they're like thirty bucks. And I'm like, no, because you know it's going to be a trash shirt anyway. And I, yeah. I was thinking about this. I was like, okay. So like most of the stuff at consignment shops end up like, I, I just assume from like estates mm -hmm. people are like, well, this person died. That's uh, go sure. and yeah. Pick, pick all the good stuff clean. And then, <laughs> yeah. Give, give, give them everything else. Yeah. So I, I don't think there were a lot of like small people that really liked, um, Hawaiian shirts. You gotta yeah. go to, you gotta go to small people, Hawaiian shirt con in Minneapolis. <laughs> Can I reach it through George VPN? Uh, well, you can you can register for tickets yep, in case you're a Oh man, well, come on, man. <laughs> well, well so listen, av availability might be might be limited. It's only Canada. <laughs> no, we're, we're we're banned in Canada. We operate out of it, but we're banned. It only in works it. on local host. Yeah, no, it only it only works on local host VPN from from your network yes. to your network. Yes. Jordan, uh, anything going on? Yeah, well, I mean, I mean, we we talked about the exploding, mysterious exploding bus in the in the pre pre super show. Okay, now this was fascinating because Jordan was like, "Hey, man, this bus melted down," and Pedro's like, yeah. "Oh, here's another vehicle that I've recently saw that." <laughs> yeah, I'm well, feeling well, a little cheated. <laughs> there, there's there's a bit of a vehicle melting pandemic going around a little bit. Yeah, that was that was, that was right by my house. Um, I'm just glad it's not my microwave. Mm, fair. How's microwave holding up? <laughs> It's good. Pretty good. Like it's 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 doing that good that new microwave thing where it's like you ever you ever get a new appliance and it works well and like you're used to the crappy operation of the old appliance. So it's like ah yes, you need to like cram this thing in here for like another thirty seconds or whatever because like the microwave bulb or whatever is dying. Oh no 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 no! I'm an absolutist when it comes to microwave. I'm like that's how we're eating it. Okay. <laughs> uh, <but> crunchy <laughs> the ice, cold, crunchy middle. Yeah, uh, yeah. Scalding on the outside, mm -hmm. freezing on the inside. Right. As God intended. Yeah, but it, <laughs> it's it's um it's 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 definitely one of those things where it's just like, oh, this is this is a thing that works now. I don't have to like put it in here for like two minutes. Mm. I, I oh like I I straight up heated up a coffee in the old microwave. It took like two minutes. I put it in for two minutes and it things just boiled over and boiled over. Yep. I'm like, <laughs> right. This one works. Oh, yeah. Pedro Mateus, have you found anything new and exciting going on? Have, what what was the last car accessory that you've ordered? Because I know you've ordered a car accessory between last, last week and this week. Yeah. What was the last car accessory I've you I've ordered melted? many. <laughs> uh, I just uh, one, just one. The last one that arrived was this keychain. Oh, no. <laughs> That's um, not that's not an accessory for the is. car, is it? <laughs> it? It is for the car fob specifically. Send, so, okay, yes. uh, I, I challenge that. Send us send us some hate mail if you if you back me up. Keychains are not car accessories. Uh, I'm sorry. I mean, I had like I always had a Porsche fob, even though I just got the keys. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Drive driving your Volkswagen around. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 
I used to have the uh, the horsey that I had for my Portuguese car, but uh, I saw that one on Amazon. It's like, oh, that's only three pounds. Yeah, okay, bye. So yeah, no, uh, I I I am genuinely genuinely angry at Nokia right now because my Nokia seven point two yesterday just died, uh-huh. and it I, forced I me to go to through the. Nope. Uh, so, no, the the thirty three tens were indestructible. The seven point two is unfortunately are not. And yeah, no, I had to go through the recovery process after getting my old Motorola X4 back up and running. It's like, all right, are you caught up? Are you up to speed? Good, because you're needed again. Yeah. And there's a curse around this time of year, probably because it's my birthday or something, but... Uh. <laughs> No, I think it's just planned obsolescence. No, no, no. He he sleeps elbow drops. <laughs> yeah, just, See, I always put like my a... phone as far away from the bed as possible so that when the alarm goes, I have to get up. Because otherwise, I'm just going to turn it off and go right just back. Oh, no, I, I, have, I have 100% done that thing where I put the phone on the nightstand, and in the morning, I'd go to grab it, and i just send it flying. i flip it, and it goes... <laughs> And then you're just like, what the f-? it's a good time. That's like one of the things I like about the uh, new Pixel, uh, which I'm never going to buy from you, Google, because eat a bag of dicks. Um, it's got like the built in magnet thing where you just stick it on right to the base. Yep. And like you're done with it. You don't have to mess around with it. Something I wish we could add to our whores. Yeah. Apparently it has left Pedro's uh, keychain and has now found new career as the steam i'll figure these buttons on a minute there we go hey <laughs> hi professionals dude uh next fest we played some games we had a good time mm-hmm. with it didn't we many yeah, we, demos we, we, many many demos we all like it we all love it because like it's bringing back demos people and me and pedro played lives of p pre-purchase oh yeah <laughs> yeah. So what does Steam have? They got the uh, most played demos of June 2023, the latest next fest. My first thing was like, y'all motherfuckers out there playing House Flipper 2. All right. Dude, <laughs> ho- listen, home ownership these days is a fucking power fantasy. I don't blame them. Mm-hmm. I mean, th- this is a. Uh, did you just have a gun that cleans the what? <laughs> yeah. It, it squishes uh, pallets into non existence. Yeah, I need yeah. one of those. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, me, me too. I have a couple pallets in the garage that I've been procrastinating on disassembling. Uh, Lies P was number two. Viewfinder is another title that I have no idea. It's a puzzle game, at least. So yep. Yes. Vorhaven, uh, Wizard with a Gun. Yeah, Wizard with a Gun looks cool. Uh, the one the one that caught my attention is at the very, very bottom is Star Siege Dead Zone. You might remember Star Siege from the first game, Star Siege Tribes. So, like, yeah, if you if you like tribes back in the day, this, oh, is, this yeah. is it. We, we 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 got new tribes. I actually very much enjoyed the one immediately above that, Fortune's Run, which is a boomer shooter in the Star Wars universe, which I I very With much enjoyed, and I'm very much looking Star forward War, to it. Star out. Wars universe. Star Wars. Yes. You, you, I mean, it it, it kind of looks like um, what was it? You uh, pl- dark 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 forces or whatever. But like, yes. You play as a Twi'lek um, bounty hunter. Is that is 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 Kathleen Kennedy gonna sue somebody? Yeah, that that is that is that is a Twilight. Um, mm. yeah, yeah. This 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 looks pretty Star Warsy. Is is mm-hmm. oh, I don't know. New Zabra. That's very much the uh, thing that they're going for, and the, the gameplay is really really well. I got a chance to play with the demo. It's very very nice. So I'm very much looking forward to uh, and it's gonna have a Linux version. So yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Good on that. I'm I'm hipster boomer. All the I'm out. I'm good. Yeah. The the the, the I mean I think we both were a little disappointed then with uh, with Myth Force because I was I was really looking forward to it. And I was kind yeah. of I was kind of hoping I for a little bit. Kind more. of enjoyed it. <laughs> I, I, I felt it was kind of hmm? uh, No, I played it by myself <laughs> on hard. <laughs> I finished the first three levels on hard. So yeah, I, I tend to, especially with multiplayer games, play them with other people. But I always look through the lens of, um, like it or not, you guys do too. And like, how's it been playing the after show? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and like the multiplayer, I mean, it wasn't bad, but we got them playing it. We're like, well, we played that. It was it was very basic. Like com- coming off af- coming like right off of Strange Brigade. Like mm-hmm. it was it was very similar to that. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, in, in in that like nothing blew me away. There was no like mechanic in there that I was like, wow, this is neat. 
Like, yeah, the, the the and and like the the, the we we both played like Valkyrie Lady with the mace and like the bonks are like really really weak, right? Like yeah, like the impacts on it are just yeah, comical. The They're like bonk bonk. I mean, I'm sure if you watch, go back and watch that, I, I was going to do a bonk timestamp because I think I said bonk probably like 115 times. <laughs> I, I I did that too while I was playing her, and then yeah. I switched to the wizard and I had a better time. But uh, yeah, that was your massive attack. It was like bonk bonk bonk. Uh, cool. More next fest. More demos more better now our first uh little bite to eat this week comes from a place that i haven't i mean i visit xda all the time but i don't ever read news on xda yeah you, yeah, you go XDA to the forums. developers you, yeah. you don't go you don't go to the, <laughs> the blog section all that mm-hmm. often yeah no the xda everyone knows xda developers for the forums where you have to spend three hours looking through a single thread to find that one thing that makes that particular rom work on your particular device you mean that one dead media fire link that totally doesn't lead to something (laughs) sketchy (laughs) that's in page 37 because the original uh author never bothered to update the first post because you need to use our new service iffy cat only available through your vpn (laughs) Yes. <laughs> but yeah no they also have articles and they 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 had an article this week they oh boy <laughs> they, they had they an article this week one. yeah uh empty uh posted this on our discord earlier in the week it's uh why i like linux on the steam deck but not on my desktop and originally this was just written oh, by one person right, doesn't it? that's what you mm-hmm. want to see at the beginning of an article this article has been rewritten <laughs> and originally it was written by one person and then the uh, lead um, technical editor for XDA developers had to step in and remove the entire bottom half of the article uh, <laughs> and rewrite it. Out, what do you guys think about this Lenovo <laughs> with the soundbar right there? I was like, that's a good idea. It is, yeah. It's, especially right? for like the, 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 the yoga flex. Because like, mm-hmm. w- w- one thing I was doing a lot in while I was flying was you can flip the thing backwards and then like use that as your little TV, right? Mm. So having something to... Last, last sound on that but direction. Yeah. That's, that's smart. smart. The smart. entire article based around the premise that the original uh, writer tried to install a hollow ISO on that <laughs> Lenovo laptop that was just on screen there. Uh, and it didn't go so well. Go figure. Uh, and then everyone on Twitter kind of went, uh, are you sure about that? Are, are, are that that's a little bit embarrassing and of course then the uh lead technical director came in and he decided to compliment uh the article using tim sweeney's argument of uh custom kernels uh, specifically lkms or loadable kernel modules where i'm from we just call those k mods but you know you do i just call i just call them drivers because like that, that's that's what they are that's, that's what they are yeah uh it yeah no it is truly a wonderful thing it's no matter how much they change it it just real keeps on giving <laughs> re- re- real drivers have exes you need to click and install <laughs> yeah real drivers and then wickle <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta install them via device manager you gotta right click on the, the right device tree <sighs> So, yeah, Jordan, you're right. I mean, it's this time of the year. It seems like every 11, 12 months you get somebody that's like, wrong tick, wrong tools. Let me explain Linux to you without knowing what the hell I'm doing. You know, a couple Mm -hmm. years ago, last year, year before, it was Linus, right? The squeaky guy. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, okay. We got it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Every, every like, 8 to 12 months, it just seems to be... What 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 are what are these things? And they always they always pick weird stuff too. Like Linus, he's like, I'm I'm gonna install Steam and remove my desktop environment. Mm-hmm. This guy, mm-hmm. I'm gonna try and use Hollow ISO to run a desktop. We're talking about this in the pre pre super shows and like out of fun. like that's one we don't even mess around with. Yeah. No, it, it, it's literally an unofficial yoink of the uh, CMOS version that's running on the Steam Deck. Mm -hmm. And Valve, please, come on, just release SteamOS 3 already? Because this article, this is a fucking symptom. So, you know, (sighs) come on. (laughs) Reading through this, and of course we get to the EAC, um, you know, just anti-cheat in general. It's like, there's, I have tons of games that I can't play because of anti-cheat doesn't work in Linux. Like, name them off, name them off. And they do. And he does, and one of them being Escape from Tarkov. They use that in the same set. It's like, I need to be able to play this. You know, the game that has been so hacked to hell the past year that there's multiple videos about how the hackers communicate with their wiggle? Yes. That one? 
The, like the, 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 the wall hacker dance. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Infested. And they've done nothing despite despite the anti-cheat because, you know, rude or not, client-side anti-cheat, fight me on this, mostly security theater. You're not really doing a whole lot yeah. on that. And that's only going to catch, like, the lowest hanging vegetables, man. And, like, Tarkov is just hacked. Out. That's the worst example you could have used. That's all I'm saying. And, and like, we, 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 we were talking about it last week, too. Like, anti-cheat has really kind of become a solved problem under Linux. Like, yes, yes, there's stuff like your destinies in your Fortnite. But those those guys have come out and said, like, yo, do not play our game if you run Linux. We we are we are putting our foot yeah, in the ground. We we're don't our like in. Linux. We're not going to support Linux in any way, shape or form, mm-hmm. not even tangentially by association. So, and you know what? I can respect not. fuck around and find out. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know what? And, yeah, no, with, with Destiny, they're very clear. It's like, uh, you get this game running on Linux, your account gets banned. Oh, all right. But the hot <laughs> take from this article about how Linux is just the hotbed, and like, if they do, if we EAC, it makes it way too easy for the hackers to sell their hacking tools over at Hack Emporium for the 1.2% of the market that plays games on Linux. You don't understand how that works, do you, sweetheart? Well, uh, now, now all the all hackers those are hacking move. tools are available for Windows already. All the hackers have are going to move this to whole Linux, time. though. No, you that's see, that's exactly, <laughs> exactly. It's a horse and carriage, right? Type right. And, but, and but, 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 but here's the thing, though. They're going to install Hollow ISO. Nothing's going to work, <laughs> right. and they're going to go back to Windows. So problem <laughs> solved, kind of. Like. <sighs> You know, I, this is, you know, we, we, we get gems like this. You know, this is from the original article. Both of these, the web archive link will be linked into our show notes as well. Uh, ultimately, the Linux desktop experience is made by programmers for programmers. Right. Unlike the manatees that fucking write <laughs> Windows. And again, if you played with Windows 11, I might be on to something. Uh, programmers don't make GUIs. They just type commands because that's way faster. Linux apps on GitHub don't come with precise instructions. Because ah, look, it's the lightest excuse. <laughs> Because you're ah. just supposed to know how to start. Mother fucker. <laughs> this is yet another textbook example of the win, bro. I'm going to install Linux over the weekend, and I, I got this, bro. Yeah, like, the, 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 that, 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 statement, the, the, that statement is just so asinine, because it's just like, you, you have to know how to run this program? Like, yeah, on Windows, you double-click on it. But uh-huh. on Linux, you it's can double-click on it, or, or you can run it from the command line. It's, Hell, it's, even, it's not even, Windows. Like you, your Windows experience, this this is a fucking different operating system, man. Like you need to learn how to use what you're running as your primary operating system. Not try to throw it under the bus because it's not enough. Like that Tonka toy shit that you use to play your fucking video games. <laughs> Linux can do that things, and other shit. Of all the distros, he could have picked like that could have given him a close to a Windows experience of just clicking next on the installer and shit working. Ubuntu, Mint whatever he went with fucking hollow but but so but this this, this is to reinforce this point of like oh linux is great when a company like like uh, valve is is hardening it but when you take that same software and try to run it on your computer on another computer it's bad for some reason almost as if it wasn't it. designed for it to start with R- right like <laughs> yeah. I, I, again like i can't fuel my car with this banana i'm shoving bananas into my gas I tank mean, it's made and out it's of carbon going. bro i mean <laughs> yeah, it petrol? Right? like yeah. i don't know what i'm doing so i refuse to admit i'm wrong linux sucks uh yeah. it's always a bad take it's always a bad take at least xda uh, had the foresight of going <sighs> you no know. There's too, there's, there's too many Let's Linux users on that, that fucking website bit. in their forums. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's probably the wrong place to for that uh, take, isn't it? A little, a little bit. Um, <laughs> there you go. Let's talk about a couple of new games. And one that we've talked about during NaxFest is something that I'm looking forward to playing around with. Gravity Circuit Flashy Action Pack 2D Platformer. And uh, this is, a, I played the demo, I really enjoyed it, and it is right. It's spot on for Hipster Pixel. Mega Man, but with punching. And you get 12 stages, so that means there's 12 bosses to deal with. You got grappling hooks. I had a great time with it. And, Jordan, you, you think it looks a little more like the uh, 
It's really giving me Mega Man 2 vibes. Yeah, I, I, I get I definitely get some Mega Man in there, but like mm-hmm. it, it has the Bionic Commando swinging like you have the, the grappling hook and like there's there's a preview of a boss fight where like you have to hang from the ceiling to dodge a bunch of the shit. But it also has like it also has like double dragon style combos, which I thought mm-hmm. was like an, an interesting like take on instead of, you know, your your pew pew man, you shoot little lemons. You got to you got to mash some people with your fists. I'm down with it. It's currently uh 1529 10% off at 1699 regular. And yeah, it, it's Mega Man with some Metroidvania kind of built into it, but it is it is so beat for beat what you it, it's that example the, the, of the, like the art style is like perfect the right mechanics like, more importantly yeah. uh because we've seen great art style yeah. completely just kicked in the junk by <laughs> bad true, mechanics yeah. right <laughs> this this hits all the beats and uh, it's what you in, remembered playing way back in the day you know it looks a lot like the uh Mega Man x2 again I, I only played the saturn one so it's x2 and x3 for me that's it <laughs> but yeah it looks looks the part definitely <laughs> yeah, and look, they even tell you, like, hey, we tested this with Ubuntu 22, which is good. It runs yeah. with an Infermi graphics card or newer Intel. Hey, yeah, this will run on anything. Yeah. Run on anything. Okay, Packets. so if it works with, for me, it's not Vulcan that says OpenGL. Oh, I mean, yeah. No. I, I mean, you, we, I, we, we have talked about, uh, the, you can do Vulcan for 2D, but like, <laughs> you know, yeah. So last week I talked about the Pale Court, which is a fan-made DLC for Hollow Knight. And it's amazing. You watch the trailer. Like, this is fan made because if somebody put it in front of you, Hollow Bug, you know, I'm empty buggy, you know, Metroidvania platformer. It's awesome. Came out six years ago and we're all sitting around. It's like, where is this Silk Song? And we're still waiting on it. But what happens is when you don't release a game after, like, because, you know, in Team Cherry's defense, they announced Silk Song like three seconds after Hollow Knight was released. That's why people in wait. Maybe they should have held off. And originally, Silk Song was supposed to be like the, additional character from the Kickstarter, but, you know, they had the foresight of, you know what, this serves as own game. Probably better for that. But if you want to install Pale Court or just mods in general with Hollow Knight, you got to jump through some hoops. And you got to know some things. Are you going to get the uh, pink squares of, uh, like, somebody <laughs> used capitalization? Pink squares and, of, uh, according to Scott, uh, shade are not found. <laughs> yeah. You know, that, that's case, a case-sensitive file system. Welcome to Unity right there. Uh so you want to avoid that. You want to avoid that. And unfortunately, that does uh, mean installing Hollow Knight with Proton. But the mod manager is 100% native. It's brilliant. And it's got a ton of stuff in there, too. So if you're looking for like a crippling addiction, you want to reignite one. Here we go. It's super simple. Show you how to get it set up over at LinuxTeamCast.com. Easy enough to do. And not only with Pale Court, I knew nothing about this. I've intentionally stayed away from Hollow Knight because I need my time hundreds maybe not hundreds but definitely a hundred different mods including multiplayer Mm. are available for hollow knight these days and it's super easy to get set up it's nothing you don't have to put a ring on it you can uninstall it go forward if you want the randomizers all the cool stuff that you've seen people do i didn't check whether or not the uh gun mod is available but i'd be surprised if it wasn't where you don't have to worry about that sword you just get a semi-automatic I'm 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 curious, like if, how the how the multiplayer would work. Do you have like Hollow Knight and Full Knight as as your as your two players, or you pick your characters? I mean, I've oh. definitely seen like different uh, replay. You know, it's like Hollow Knight and Mario or something. Like that. Right? Oh yeah, or or you get like Samus or Master Chief in there. And yeah, then... Zangief. Dude, I, oh man, Hollow Knight with grappling, man. Oh. I think it'd be pretty dope. I think it'd be pretty. Pedro, you're the one that put the most time into this one, so you get it. 50 hours, according to Steam. Yeah, Vampire Survivors. There's a new version. Uh, They released the trading cards earlier in the week. You probably saw that because you had a bunch of notifications on Steam. I'm like, what the hell? Yep, there's the uh, the trading cards. They also have, um, like, the rest of the um, Valve community items, like the badges, the emoticons, and the profile backgrounds. Uh, there's the big update that's coming is the co-op mode. It's local co-op, unfortunately, uh, but they have it, you know, it's progress for now. Uh, there are rumors of uh, working on at least for the Xbox vampire online. survivors. MMO. Okay. All right. But yeah, no, it's the, they have a, a gameplay video and yes, it is basically <laughs> right now the game be- 
becomes a lot easier yeah, because I'm not playing that because IGN seems <laughs> strikes me as the type of company that will try to claim our video because we <laughs> possibly yeah. Uh, yeah but yeah no the right now the um the levels are not made for multiple people just the one so when you have those many people with those many particles and weapons just shooting it becomes a lot easier so Dude, yeah I it, mean you, you get co-op vibration mm. <laughs> I'm just saying so you can vibe with your partner um yeah though they're also does, does switching it have to .io integration though <laughs> that's the real question yes they're switching to a new engine uh it is uh from they don't really mention any of the uh commercially available ones so something tells me they're going to be developing their own uh it's and talk, i'm calling uh, it it's crytek <laughs> No, it's Sledworks. <laughs> Unreal 5. <laughs> like all the games that are coming out now. Oh, so, uh, so right, Unreal 5. <laughs> so right right now their current their current framework is like a HTML5 JavaScript CSS uh one, which like in, yeah, in terms of game engine. portability, yeah. Phaser engine. Uh which is like really, really good for portability, uh, because like now Vampire Survivors is on fucking basically everything that has a problem. Yeah, like uh, they were talking about like a like they were giving Pixel plenty of props during this too. They're like, this is a great prototyping and Yeah. Uh, but but now I guess they they need to the make it a real boy, or or support even more particles on the screen so that you can't see what the fuck is going Can you on. Imagine that like you know I've watched Pedro. I don't think I watched. I've watched people play and I've played it myself. And um, the, the the pixel chaos that starts taking place just a few minutes into the game, man. Like imagine that with two to four people. That that's the thing. There's less chaos because you're killing the enemies faster, so you clear the screen more. No, but can but, we but get now, a mode now, where I can play as like hordes and navigate the hordes into the? No, no, I, I, I want to see the subliminal messages mod where like all the pixel <laughs> stuff starts like eat more burgers, <laughs> eat chicken, obey. Yeah, uh, that, that, that kind of man. Uh, I wish him the best of luck with that. So that's gonna do it for a Steam segment. Yep. Time to uh, switch gears and talk about what Nvidia being Nvidia. Mm -hmm. It's the news. Yes, ooh, it's transition. <laughs> Bite me. It's like, yeah, let's uh, do do like one linear run. And like, uh, uh, fuck yeah, you. Yeah. Then we're doing a transition too. <laughs> no, no it, it, it should just be like, just leave, leave it on Pedro for like two minutes. Just like, right. yeah. Just, <laughs> just start a countdown timer for like six minutes for no reason. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, let, let's, let's talk about the 4060 Ti and how it's totally going to be so the hottest excited. shit. Uh, the, NVIDIA is going to play this very, very fucky because the RTX 4060 Ti 16 gigajoule version, yeah, they're, they're doing that. Now, welcome to my, I'm waiting for the 4050 24 gig version. So the whole thing, a bunch of reviewers have came out and at least hinted, uh, you know, hardware in box. A couple other like, yo, this thing's coming out. But they're not getting any uh, review units. Nobody's seeding them. The AIBs are not seeding them. NVIDIA's like, pfft, what, what, well, what's 16 gig? We never heard of that. What are you talking the about? AI, according, to, according to Hardware Unbox, the AIBs are like, we don't know when these are supposed to be available. Like, um, so they, they don't even know if they're going to make them. I'm like, yeah. Mm, like, would you? <laughs> At this point, no. <laughs> so to quote Hardware and Box's tweet, the 4060 Ti 16 is meant to be arriving this month, this month being July. We're quickly running out of July. Uh, on the 18th, uh, that's in a few days, uh, NVIDIA has announced the July, there's no Tuesday. official review program for the model. Um, of course there's no founders edition for this gentlemen. Uh, we are, I think the main reason we're seeing this is because the 4060 got called what it is a, a 40, 50, if you squint, like yeah. if you give it like extra credit, it's <laughs> a little a 40, overpriced uh, for what it is. And I think NVIDIA is realizing that people just don't care, so they might as well just drop the pretense. <laughs> no, well, no, yeah, no. Yeah. See, I'm an NVIDIA, and I'm like, oh, oh what, why is everybody complaining? Oh, oh, it's the memory, that's it. So it needs, uh, it needs another <laughs> it needs gigs, gigs on it. Yeah, we'll yeah. just <laughs> slap that on. Are you going to upgrade the uh, performance of the 4060 Ti 16 gigs? Nope. Why? We're yeah. NVIDIA. Yeah, the, it, it really does seem like they're just trying to snooch this out there so that, like, there's another card on the market that people will, like, accidentally buy. This is NVIDIA, though. Look at NVIDIA throughout the past. They will make a card for every potential, even if it's theoretical. There, there's somebody yes. thinking AMD is going to release something in that tier. The, the, the 1080 Ti was uh, built to compete with a card that AMD never released. Right. So, yeah, yeah. 
And unless it's below two hundred dollars currently, because that don't fucking exist anymore. No. Uh, <laughs> and they're gonna want five hundred bucks for this. What's that? This is gonna be the five hundred dollar card. This is gonna be five hundred dollar card. That uh, <laughs> no one, the memory bus is gimped on this. So like, are, are, this they, for? are they using the the one ninety two bus, or is that the? I think it's one ninety two, but it's gonna be by eight mm. instead of by sixteen. On top of that. So I again, eight, I will, and a PCIe Gen 4, so if you have a PCIe Gen 3 motherboard, you're going to get half the speed. Yes. <laughs> and again, PCIe Gen 3 is probably the price range of board these things are going to get plugged into. Mm-hmm. It, traditionally, that's what the 60 and 60 Ti series were going to get. It's like older systems that just get a new GPU. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, <laughs> North Ranger is saying that the 4060 Ti is going to be 128, just All double right. stacked. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so not, so not great. No, like even my thirty sixty is hundred eighty two. Like the, the, again, if you need more indications that this is a forty fifty, like they've moved everything down a stack ever since they've unlaunched the forty eighty the, the, the forty eighty yeah or whatever mm-hmm. it was, and they went oh they're not that dumb. They're like no, it, well, was, it was it was the dumb, it was the forty eighty twelve and the forty eighty sixteen, which were like, two completely different cards. Yeah, two completely different cards. Yeah. Oh. But you know what? NVIDIA's Jensen's over there laughing, man. He's like, I can't. Let me see if I can uh, dig, dig my way out of this. All this AI money right now. I, oh, you guys are still around. You're right. <laughs> but I want you to remember us once the AI thing dies down and we'll come back and we'll, we'll make up, baby. Don't worry about it. No, 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 mm-hmm. Now it's N- N- NFT based AIs. So <laughs> we got we to we combine them together now. <laughs> it's, it's cho- you got chocolate in my peanut butter. Where uh, is AMD in all this conversation, though? Because uh, AMD, a, a, you're not. AMD not really are too much. busy munching on whatever brand of glue they have this week because they've had a gap the size of a 7600 and a 7900 7, 7, XT. 7700 and a 7800. Yeah, yeah and basically all, all, all the ones cards. in between those. Yeah. Is currently all, all, all. being filled by Intel. <laughs> yes. Yes. Bel- bel- believe it or not, it's like, what, what should I do to buy a new AMD card? Yeah, buy, buy, buy that uh, ArcMage. Yeah. It'll, it'll get faster. Turns AMD, out the 770 does okay compared to the 3060 Ti, well, yeah. compared to the 770. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Go figure. That, was, that was the thing. Like, oh, we were all worried about, oh, this is the 770. It's meant to compete with like the 3060. And it's like, yeah, well, I mean, that, that turns out that's a good thing because that, that yeah. 3060 is still a really good card. Uh, yeah. Even in this day and age. <laughs> but, what uh, was the uh, Linus? The uh, I saw the the review. Somebody posted it in our Discord. Uh, the Chinese. Uh, yes, I posted that one earlier. The Moore's uh, Moore's, Moore's thread threads. technology. Yeah. How did yeah. that? I didn't get a chance to watch the video. How did it? Do doesn't do very well. Uh, oh. It is very much like brand new, but it's based on Power uh, Power VR to power some power. description. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they, they were they were doing a bunch of those uh, server GPUs. I remember we were talking about that a while mm-hmm. ago. So, like, but this it, one it is be... just uh, trying to basically get on the uh, the desktop market based off of that. But yeah, the game performance that um, Steve from Gamers Nexus managed to get on those was atrocious to oh, the point Gamers that a Nexus? seven, yes, okay. but but the like, seven fifty that... Ti was beating it in several games. But but that's that's like the that's the exact problem Intel was yeah. and to some extent still is having is that you know the the heart having the hardware is nice but it's the software that actually like gets gets bits on the screen speaking of hang on hey, i'm looking uh, up uh, benchmarks here man <laughs> all right all right i want to talk about fidelity effects uh, come on man <laughs> more threat we, we're gonna see how this thing uh swings because you know i want to believe right hashtag 80, 85 mm-hmm. frames a second on diablo 3 uh where's yeah like a- uh, but with lower lows than the 750 ti which means that those 30 fps on the 750 ti are smoother than the uh mtt so the, here it is against the uh, 750 ti and uh you know what it's faster than a 750 ti this is uh, power consumption. Uh, GPU benchmark. Yes, that's power, power consumption. Power. That's yeah. pulling yeah. a lot more power than the 750 Ti. Yes. So <laughs> faster, right? <laughs> faster. Technically, yes. yes. Where's the, I, I want some Steve. Where's the uh, more benchmarks? Steven. Back to you, Steve. Didn't Steve used to like? <laughs> didn't they used to have a website that they? Yes. 
I, I believe they still do. I don't know if they link it, though. <laughs> I don't want to play the video. Oh, here. Hang on. I think I'm, there we go. Now we're. Ah, hey. So, and at the very bottom. Yep. <laughs> oh, uh, you can boy. see Counter-Strike go. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right. In CSGO, this thing's rocking 43.8 compared to the nearest competitor, the 750 Ti, with a whopping 90.5. Yeah, that's, that's, that's mm-hmm. double. <laughs> But 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 again, this is this is a this is a driver thing at this point. It's very much a brand new card from someone who used to work at Nvidia. the The head of MTT is the former head of uh, the Chinese branch of Nvidia. Mm. So uh, yeah, all right, we'll see. I want to believe. Ta- ta- Player talk, four, come on, <laughs> talking about software. Let's talk about fidelity fidelity effects. I've, I'm about to fix my pants. Uh, but yeah, uh, gpuopen.com links to all the stuff is in our show notes. Yeah, periodically AMD's like, hey, we write software too sometimes. And instead of supporting it long term, we are just going to open source it and then t- make it your guys' problem. And that has given us uh, wonderful things such as like FSR 1.0, which has been implemented across like Proton and uh, GameScope and other stuff. Um, but, and they've added. Oh, hell uh, yes. They've, they've added three new three new tools to Slidey the. Slidey bars. Yeah, slider bars. I'm content. <laughs> they're, they're, it's, it's so blurry now. But uh, they, they added, give it all the blur. Oh, yes, that, okay, that's this, what this, it is. They added, yeah. they added blur, <laughs> lensing, and depth of field tools, which based based on these sliders really just make shit a lot blurrier, in in my opinion. I mean, uh, that's what blur is supposed to do, right? Yeah, yep. but even 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 the, the 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 lensing is kind of blurry, and the depth of field is very blurry. Like, yeah, uh, lensing it applies like radial blur, oh, and yep. depth of field it just blurs the things that are not supposed to be in focus. Yeah, yeah, you know, on this, like, <laughs> like, like I said, it's, it's very blurry. Here. I mean, you could definitely. I mean, it, it it's better. Yeah. You can see the the sharpening one on the uh, contrast adaptive sharpening one at the bottom. Uh, good luck with that, because I tried. I looked to see if I could find a difference, and I couldn't. Well, I mean, it's blurrier. Yeah, it's, it's hey, blurrier. look at our. Uh, that's totally not the BD40 can. Nice. <laughs> um, but yeah, the the other the other thing with this uh, is that the uh, fid- uh, the Fidelity FX SDK is getting a point release now. They're at one point oh. What the so fuck that's, is this? Elder Vision lens Len- <laughs> lensing. Yeah, it's blurry. It's like it's, a it's, radial blur from like the edges of a lens. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 just blurrier. It's like if, chromatic if, if aberration. You want, or- mm-hmm. If yeah. you want all, yep. Yeah, if you want all the stuff to make your shit blurry, AMD's got you covered. Um, but I mean, it's, it's it's open source now. You can get them all from uh, their their GitHub page. Uh, oh, Andy, yeah, you, 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 this, you. This is always the like. Yep, there's more shit on there. Uh, we're cutting that off. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, ambient occlusion nowadays is the first thing you should turn off if you're yeah. the game that you're trying to play is running like poop. Turn that off. <laughs> Contrast adaptive sharpening. <laughs> Yeah, I get fucked. I can't tell on this one. Um, yeah, that one just makes things sharper. <laughs> allegedly. Uh, okay. Don't cut yourself You're gonna on have that to edge. zoom in to actually see. <laughs> uh, super resolution. This is the one we're familiar with. Where's my slidey mm-hmm. thing? Why is no? Uh, yeah, th- this is the comparison <laughs> between FSR one and two. One. Do. Um. Do. Okay. <laughs> well, 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 welcome back to uh, Linux Linux Optometry Cast. We're, we're gonna, <laughs> lens one, lens two, lens R- one. R- Rorschach, lens. man. Parallel yeah. sort. That sounds like something I should. should all right, one of them's a video card. <laughs> it, it, Actually, it, yeah, it, sorting it, noise into a picture. I mean, is this like a magic picture? If I squint and look at it yeah, backwards, it's, it's, it's reflected through a fish tank, I can. Uh... <laughs> It's a, it's a schooner. <laughs> down sampler? Pedro, you like down sampling stuff. Uh, down sampling when it's done uh, properly. Uh, I, I, I actually, I'll be honest, I like a lot of the things that they're showing. Uh, and I hope that stuff like the XVK and whatnot, since that is in the render pipeline, that they find a way to implement a lot of this stuff without running into the same issue. Like, oh my God, what's with FSR2? Shading? Yeah, no, it, it would be nice to see like other other sort of like um, FSR 1.0 hacks because uh, mm-hmm. that, that 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 was really neat. It it gave uh, it gave folks the ability to like lower lower the system requirements for their games. Yep. Um, Just r- spe- run it at a lower resolution, and it magically upscales itself to uh, something a little higher, like your native screen resolution. How long has AMD been releasing and open sourcing their um, FSR tech? 
It's been it's been several years now. Yeah. Uh, FSR wasn't the first thing that they released. No. They had like Hairworks and a couple other things as well. Oh, GPU um, Open's been around since 2015. Tr- tr- Tress Effects. That was what it was called. Tress mm. Effects. So when I think about this, uh, something that definitely comes to mind is: Have we seen any open source projects leverage any of this? I, I, I would, can't think of one. There's there's not a lot that necessarily would. I think like our best candidates would be stuff like Velorin, like actual actual 3D games or like Zero AD and stuff like that. 2016. Um, <laughs> Okay. That's, that's, that's it it was announced in December 2015, but it was released proper in 2016. When I think about things like the initial release of uh, FSR, you didn't have to do anything extra. Well, not like you, we can do FSR with a Mingo HUD or a Gamescope. I'm sorry. Gamescope and the XVK. Yeah, it's just. And in there. <laughs> even with that, I don't think I've seen a open source project even adopt that. Now, if you know, leave a comment. Let me know about it because I want to go play with it. Um. There was uh fuck, there was one there was one game I was playing that had uh, FSR like natively in the menu. Oh I really? Think it, I, I think I think it was like Solasta or something. And that, um, that was Cyberpunk that was done in Unity. Has, um, yeah, c- c- Cyberpunk has all FSR? those options. Yep. But c- Cyberpunk has all the fucking options. Yeah, yeah it has like, DLSS, FSR one, FSR two. <laughs> again, to avoid confusion in the comments, uh open source games. Yes, open source games. Uh, yeah, so like I, th- I think Valorant would probably be like our best bet for something to implement a thing like that. That mm-hmm. would be the most demanding, yes. <laughs> Tux card, let's make it happen. Yes. <laughs> well, we, we maybe you could even run it in a browser. Isn't that the truth, man? Free Civ. Did anybody ever get into Civilization? Because I, man, I neo dodged bullet on that pretty I hard. Played, I played a bit of Five when it came out on Linux, but it never, it, it didn't really do it for me. Ah, uh, well, not my jam. <laughs> if you've always thought, you know, free civs have been the open source clone. We've we've covered it uh, definitely a few times. And what is this? Well, if you've looked at civ and you're like, man, I need some more HTML5 in this and some web gel, too. You got it. They did it. This is the net version. So you can now play free civ in your browser. You can even do this on mobile. I went back and tested it. You can play it against AI or humans. People are on the servers too. They're Come actually on. playing on the servers now. This is based on free civ web. But somebody's already set everything up and hosted it, you know, which is based on freesub.org. So you're good to go. You know what? We can try it live, can't we? We can just click freesub.net. Yep. Go there. Um, the, uh, you, you, you can host it. <laughs> you can uh, host it yourself too. It's pretty easy to get set up. If you're running Linux, if you're running Windows, they're like, "Yo, we have uh, case sensitive files here, and that's just not going to fly under Windows. So we recommend you install a Linux VM if you want to host this yourself, like a real hacker." Um, but yeah, this is Shelly using... and Dave are throwing down. There's 15 players for yeah. Shelly and 14 players currently. 130. Shelly. Like, I mean, people are playing this. Yeah. You can observe. <laughs> yep. If it, which, which, which is, which is, you know, I kind of wish more games had like spectators because it's like spectator modes. Because, like, especially for like competitive stuff, you'd like to be able to like sit down and like watch people who know what they're doing after, after mm-hmm. like play, playing the game for a while. Like, yeah, you can go on Twitch and do that. Like, that's kind of. Replace that, but it's always nice to have that sort of facility built into your game. Now, why does this hit differently than game streaming? Um, because you don't because, blink an eye at this. You click on this, and you're like, "Okay, it's WebGL." Because, because, it's a web because, assembly. because it's it's still actually running on your computer. It's still running in the browser. Mm-hmm. Um, like, yeah, the, the 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 code, the graphics, all that stuff that is that is all still being handled uh, on 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 system. Uh, so like there, there isn't the same concerns of like latency and whatnot, but you also don't get the whole like, oh, well I can stop playing well and like pick up at the exact same spot on another system because you know, it's, it's tied. The current session is currently tied to my, my browser right now, but you could also like, but with, with browser games, you can say like pause, update my, upload my state to the server or whatever, and then move on. Uh, especially for games like um, civilization where like you can have like super wrong, long running games. They have like play by email mode on this, right? Like. Mm, yeah, the see, like state tracking, I guess, is probably one of the big ones. And you know, one thing that you can get away with with streaming is you don't have that initial load. Mm-hmm. Where you get a you know a game like this, Risa, you know, like that's light on assets. It only took what a femtosecond to like load everything. But you mm-hmm. know, it's like let's say, hey, you wanted to play the web version of Cyberpunk because eventually we'll be like, oh, did you see they put Cyberpunk in as a web yeah, app yeah. You know, down the road? No, they they have all they have all four cyberpunk sequels in the same web page <laughs> that you can just play them all like fucking Flight Simulator. I look forward to more stuff like this. Uh, I'm always fascinated about this. I never get into it. 
again, like I said, so I will probably not be 1v1. I, here, I, w- I would like to see this in a zero AD. Mm-hmm. Actually allow people to just uh, <laughs> spy on others, just go to a website, and even yep. if it's like a simpler rendition, not fully rendered, mm-hmm. would be nice. I'm just saying, <laughs> like, oh, oh, OED this. isn't like that graphically complicated. You could probably get away with running that. In you could browser. probably get away with this, and we, we already have WebRTCs, I think. So yep. like voice chat. Yeah. Yeah, the, the br- browser as a platform is a really powerful thing. Like uh, G- uh, Google is doing that with their uh, the coffee break games, right? Like, um, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I, I, and I, I would like to see more progress because also like porting your game, as I t- we talked about with Vampire Survivors, right? You, th- it's kind of a non-issue. Hey, does, does your does your operating system have a browser? It can run our game. When you think about how many Unity games mm-hmm. you can play in the browser just because of the <laughs> HTML5. Yeah, the, the, the web player. Yeah, mm-hmm. sure. Godot does it too. G- Godot, like straight up, the editor runs in the browser. Right. So. Mm-hmm. Oh man, maybe that's going to be like okay. Hmm. 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 How deep do we yeah. take this? Hey, let me let me think here. Would you buy a game that was only available to load online like this? Would they give you a zip file that you with all the local stuff so you could just run it locally? Yes. Or but do you they have tell to you just the folder? In order to do it the temporary folder where all of your local stuff is stored so you can copy it also for <laughs> yeah so we're like would you pick it up like would you okay here's what I, here's what i'm trying to post to everybody listening is say you bought a game on steam right mm-hmm. and you get it and you click play it opens up chrome and the game loads i'm, I'm, I'm probably I'm, feel I'm, a little slighted <laughs> unless i knew right off the bat <laughs> that oh, it was going to oh. do that <laughs> a, a, a little bit but like i'm i'm not i'm not opposed to it you wouldn't uh, like. What if that was like the first thought? Like, not even thought, but your first experience. Like, wait, it's a browser game? Because let's be honest, browser games the, the, got a stigma to them. The, it's the, it's true, but there there are a bunch of games on Steam that are basically just that. Like, they'll just launch a like a Chrome embedded framework window, right? Like, yeah, but I want the out of date version with the library <laughs> yeah, issues. Yeah, yeah, with with all the security holes. Mm-hmm. And, and then what, you the have Vampire Survivors, which is a browser game, and it massively popular <laughs> yeah all right i i i think like i think the, the stigma there is like I'll, up until recently like a lot of browser games have been like pretty scammy and exploitative and kind of crappy time sinks well what do yeah. we all think about when we think about browser games we think about candy crush and uh facebook games see mini like, clip yeah rune skin for me for me that's that's where i go when i think of browser games i guess i was running in java but like you still access well, to, you know, oh right uh, what was our first experience uh yeah it was the yahoo games it was a uh, playing yeah. um pool pool poker farmville yes Chess, very good yeah. <laughs> north ranger yeah so so like <laughs> and like uh flash games Sh- tons of fun stuff on Newgrounds, right like mm-hmm. um as well so like uh, dark throne i remember dark throne yes yes <laughs> hail fenris love me some dark throne all right so I ran across this. Pedro's going to tell you about a remake. Not the original game, but a remake of a game by some rando online. Yeah, no, never heard of him. Nope. Uh, Deadly Dave is the name of the remake of Dangerous Dave, a 1988 (laughs) DOS game um, uh, developed by one John Romero. Some guy. Never heard of him. Some some bitch. (laughs) Well, someone who went on to make a bunch of people their bitch, and uh, Daikatana is still a shit game to this day, but this this is uh, Deadly Dave, and uh, Jordan apparently tried to build it. I yeah, honestly, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I've never played Dan- Dangerous Dave, even back in the day, uh, though I do know of uh, the shooting of Dangerous Dan McGrew because of the Fallout 2 character and basically the entire town of Reading. That was an allegory to the How shooting of that oh, McGrew. Yep. yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I got I got dropped into this when I when I built it. I, you know, every time I see every time I see like a GitHub repo in our show notes, like I should at least attempt to build this thing just to just so I have something to talk about. Um. So I because I I don't really give a shit about Dangerous Dave or How Dead dare you. Or this, is, this is the pinnacle of. Uh, yeah, but. <laughs> 
This but is no, the pinnacle uh, of pre-Apogee John Romero, yes. Indeed. <laughs> Pre-Apogee. But anyways, yeah, uh, the MIG file doesn't run out of the box. You need to install all your SDL2 packages, and you need to copy all the stuff from user, include SDL star to the included include directory. And then it? you... And then you can run uh, make, and then it works. And then you basically get this game. It run it runs out of the box. Um, I didn't actually try it with a controller. I just used the keyboard. Uh, I didn't even make it this far. I'm just like, okay, yeah, this this is definitely babe John Romero's first PC game. Uh, but this, it, it, it's it's still nice. Uh, we're we're gonna be pre- preservation PCR. is important. You See, guys. this is why we need you on the show, John. We need to understand what the fuck PCR is supposed to mean. <laughs> Explain the squiggles to me. The purple squiggles. Got to work with. I mean, it's PCR fire, man. And of course, he's got a n- nice little red Mario hat, right? Yeah, we did pretty. Good. I know he gets a revolver at one point. That that much I know. <laughs> that is, well, is, yeah. is that why he's dangerous? Because he's a child. There of a is. Gun? There's a revolver. <laughs> oh shit! You're right. God damn. Okay, sorry. Right. Oh no! Apparently, oh, no, those things. Are... <laughs> you went into the squigglies. Okay, <laughs> okay. This is the part of the game where I realized you can't go into the squig. Uh, give me the gun. Give me the gun. Okay. <laughs> Gun, it just says gun. Gun. Right. How, how do you how do you shoot? Is Fuck, it space? No idea. Um, <laughs> down. Control. Control. Oh shit. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Right. It is a John Romero game. Gotcha. Call an ambulance. Oh, but shit, not looked, for me. Okay, that looked like a doom. Sp- shit. Okay, you see where inspiration for the yeah. uh, the imp. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yes. Okay. I'm the quit. imp face. I'm gonna quit. I put it down, John. Don't worry. I'm not gonna come, you bitch. <laughs> yeah. All right. No, but it's, 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 it's I mean, uh, pre- preservation is important. Like, um, our art, art needs to, needs to be preserved, even bad art, like dangerous day in or da- dangerous day. How Dave. dare you? That was an entertaining game. Yeah. It's, 1987. Well, when, when you got the gun. Sure. <laughs> oh, when I got a gun. Yeah. Oh, wow. So th- this is a year. The game See, this, is a this year is older Jordan than I am. always drops out and like mini golf. He's like, where's the gun? Well, because I, I, I thought it was called mini gun, not mini golf. Uh, but sp- speaking of preservation, uh, this comes from GameHistory.org, the from the video the game history video game history foundation foundation. I got it right eventually. God damn it! Uh, they have a report uh, they put out. They put out a large study as well. It's um, graphs and shit, so you know they're serious. Yeah, uh, the, the 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 study itself is about fifty odd pages. I I scanned through it. I did not read the entire thing, uh, but. The the broad strokes is thirteen uh, percent of classic games are playable without some form of extreme intervention or piracy. And by extreme intervention, I mean you need to actually go procure the actual hardware, which may or may not be working, or uh, you may you need to acquire a copy of the game, which may or may not be available, and that may require you going to uh, a physical place or spending a lot of money. So um, this, this project, uh, they, they, they talked about uh, in the study, they go over Commodore 64 games. They talk about PlayStation 2 games. They talk about um, and they talk about OG Game Boy games. Commodore and OG Game Boy are the worst of it with having like under 3% of games like currently available. Uh, PlayStation 2 has like 12, which is better, but it's not it's not it's it's not a good look. So the, the goal here is they want to start drumming up public support to get an amendment to the Digital Millennium Copyright Act in the United States. There's a there's a renewal period coming up in 2024 where you can submit amendments. So they want to be able to expand the rights of libraries to preserve video games, make it available um, via browsers or other technologies so that uh, you don't have to like go to a physical location that has a working console and a copy of the game uh, in, in order in order to experience it. Uh, right, right now, the uh, right now the ESA is basically saying, "Oh, we don't need stuff like that. There is a secondary market that allows games to be resold, and this is good enough. You don't need to preserve things anymore." To which we all just like break collectively break down in tears because we know that's fucking bullshit. I don't want to pay three thousand dollars for a copy of Earthbound. Yeah, I don't want to pay two thousand pounds for a working Commodore sixty four. <laughs> Why would you pay two thousand pounds? You said two thousand pounds for a C sixty four, for a good condition one. Yes, like new in box, <laughs> unopened. Possibly, it was a, one of the stupid ones that I saw on eBay. All right, can get See, them let's for be cheap. realistic here because we're not talking to people that don't know about fucking how much a C sixty four costs, Pedro. <laughs> I don't know. How there's much C64 there's costs. cheaper ones, but yeah, no, that 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 right there is just one of the egregious examples and. As it turns out, uh, Nintendo, while the biggest offender in terms of just the size of the company, they're not the majority when it comes to the games that are 
unaccounted for. Uh, the there are thousands of games that you just can't get anymore. You can find them physically. They're not on the internet because no one ever backed them up anywhere. It's effectively impossible for most people in most parts of the world to actually get those games. And it could Legally. be easily solved if a publisher was to make all the games uh, that they've made previously available for five bucks directly on their website. But no, let's just sue people for piracy because that gives you more money. See, this is a uh, word still stay sticky though. Like, how do we affect regional pricing? Like, five bucks is income for some people. Like, that's like half a month's income. Like, that might as well still be in the stratosphere. I, I, I said five bucks for like the I, I US know you did, but like, market. Like, 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 <laughs> we think about it. But you could adjust the, the markets. You could hack. You could uh, just talk to Valve and they have the automatic uh, pricing adjustment for the markets. You don't even need to worry about it. But Valve wants just, 30%. Yeah, <laughs> so you well, jack and, it up and, by thirty percent. <laughs> and uh, but but again, like this, this this is this is where libraries come in because libraries already are an int- uh, organization that serves the public interest. And what they're looking for is an exemption that says like, hey, you know, we're, we 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 exist for the purpose of spreading knowledge and information, and we need to we we want to be able to d- display display these games as they were originally presented. Uh, the 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 guy one of the guys behind this actually has a GDC talk where he goes in depth about like what is actually involved with preservation of games and sort of uh, d- goes a little bit more in depth. And he was talking about how stuff like uh, ports or remasters, they they aren't the original work. They are by definition derivative. Um, and they, they they add or remove things by ne- by necessity just because like uh, one, one example they gave, the, the Wii U. The Wii U has like very, very specific hardware to it. It is very difficult to replicate Wii U games because you need something to handle that asymmetrical aspect of it. Um, so, so when you when you have like remasters like Zombie, which is like the the remastered version of the Zombie U, it's miss it's missing parts of the original game. That that the aspects of that are not preserved, and so we need some way to we need we need we need we need, we need some way to like keep as much of it as possible. So it would be like in addition to the ROM, you would need something else on top of that for the or, hardware. Yeah, well, uh, I mean that 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 is what that is definitely one or of the challenges. Or getting that, that something in software that can at least accurately replicate that as much as it can. Uh, again, it's more 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 to the point of like it can't just be like a like a um like game companies will make these games available for sale because like there are aspects of these games that are are no longer are no longer accessible or playable, right? Well, we're going to take something like that uh, to make it for a newer system. We're going to have to adapt it, you know. Yeah, but that, uh, but uh, that 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 loses something of the original, and they want to have some way to like preserve and that. It it it's it, it's it's not it's not something that's going to be solved overnight, right? And there's the there's thing. still like there's already emulators for the Wii U and the 3DS and the DS that have the facility to display the dual screens, and yeah, some or, of them um, even give you enough. Uh, flexibility to have like one screen on one of your physical screens and another screen on a different one so the uh or uh, <laughs> another example is what um what dolphin is doing with the amiibo integration uh yeah where yeah uh <laughs> the, the, because like uh previously um certain like gameplay elements were locked behind like physical purchases you had to go buy a figurine and tap it against your console in order to unlock it so now they have a way to spoof that because you know there was that one guy who hates hated rosalina so much and so he bought all, all the rosalina amiibos and destroyed them so a couple of different ways to look at this uh you know everybody's got their own individual uh here's how i'm gonna solve it <laughs> I think is, uh, you know, just as we do. And, you know, my first thought when I was reading this, I was like, all right, game preservation is awesome. Like, but we've got, we figured the game preservation part out. Like, there's no, like, critically endangered games right now. Every People have ROMs of them by hook or by crook, and it's always by crook. The problem we're trying to solve is a legal way to get hold to it. Is the library the best way to do it? And I think it is to some extent. And we got to figure out, like, where the dates fall. Because do you have to see the other side of the argument is Nintendo. Because Nintendo's not going to let you sell something that they made unless they sell it. And, and they're not going to sell it because they're capital uh, artificial scarcity. That's, scarcity? 
but, li- but library but libraries don't <laughs> sell things they lend them it's there no see this is that argument they're like it's our ip it's protected and what is it protected by though because I, I wouldn't look up everything for the sake of the discussion video game copyright last life of the creator plus 70 years but this is kind of interesting. If you were work for hire, say you were employed by EA or uh, Blizzard or uh, Bungie, you know, beloved game companies, your copyright lasts for 95 years from the date of publication or 120 years from the date of creation. I think that's a bit long. A, l- a, l- a little bit. But the EU, oh, no, 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 no. Not that much better. Uh, copyright lasts for creator plus 70 years. Life of the creator plus 70 in Canada and Japan are both just like, fuck it, it's flat 70. We get into the, the thing with video games is always strange though, isn't it? Because is, is it a product or is it art? Could it be both? How do you separate the IP from the experience? It's, 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 can it's you separate art. it? Is it uh, because there's the argument to be made because the video game is fairly unique as an art form because mm-hmm. it has the interactive element? So you can't really separate the mechanics from the rest of the video game necessarily. But but even but even then, the, the 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 issue here is that libraries already have the rights to like share movies and books and audiobooks and all this stuff. The mm-hmm. the only thing stopping digitally. them from do digitally the only the only thing stopping them from doing so with video games is literally just the law here. So it's literally the SRB uh, being too preoccupied of uh, ESA catering to the people. Uh, yeah, uh, the ESA, uh, catering to the people who are giving them money, like the big publishers, like your EAs, your Ubisofts, and whatnot. Well, well, the the, the ESA is all of these it's guys. Com- they they, yes. they self regulate, right? Like that. They 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 have they have, they have investigated themselves and discovered and covered mm-hmm. that they have done nothing wrong and that they can continue doing what they're doing, right? Like, now we can definitely see this being ruled out to like there is uh then geofenced. And I, I mean, like, yeah, there, 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 like, there, there is IP rights and laws for libraries, and there are limitations to like how the libraries can, uh, can like disseminate their information, or I guess the product here, whatever. Um, so it, uh, again, they, 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 they have, they have a solution. This is what they're, they're pushing, but, uh, it, it may, there may be like, as, as you say, like additional. Like real politic that needs to be factored into this as well. well I mean, they're definitely going to be like that, you know, with the only, if we're going to be using um, libraries of distribution, like that's a local library. Mm. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, so I want everybody to keep that in mind. Like, this is not going to be like free for all. And that's something that you want to communicate when you're talking to people. I'm like, why this is a good idea. It's like, don't worry, we're not just going to take everyone's intellectual property. Or like Library of Conquest or something, right? Like, right. And just slap it so the world can download it. And like, if you manage to convince, nintendo and sony's and like what what do you think is a good time for this because i'm thinking like 20 years is like a solid two decades just to get the big monster that is congress the u.s congress specifically uh just up to speed <laughs> well we still gotta do say. it we well, remember Pedro. we're gonna do it in the eu and we're gonna do it in canada and we're gonna do it in japan yeah. and we're gonna do it in britain well uh, the, the EU and, and will be more likely to comply if the U.S. does it first, because if and, and, the and, EU and, has to do it first, well, we've seen how long it's taken to uh, so if we get roll it back to the question, as a standard. Do you think twenty years is a good time? <laughs> I mean, tw- 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 twenty years is a pretty long time. Like the I, for me, twenty years is like the sh- short end of like where you start, but like the short yeah. end. Like so, what, what's what's a like uh, just just to give a practical example? What's Wait. a twenty year old game? Right, like from from today, what came out in what 2013 and around that. So you got like your Mass Effects, you got your um, what? Uh, I, I'm I'm drawing a blank. What man. year was 20 years ago? Uh, it was 2003. 2003, yeah. So let's do a search, man. We we have the technology. Let's see, 2003. So That's that would when be like Mor- uh, Morrowinds, yeah. Uh, Max Payne, Max Payne, Call of, Fall, OG Max Call Payne of Duty, 2, right? okay. Knight, Kotor, <laughs> Clank, Lord of the Rings, okay. uh, Night Club Two. So, yeah. Okay, so the, the, this this <laughs> this was like near the end of PS2, X, Xbox PS2. This was like near and near end of days. Um, so like I I, I don't I don't know maybe, but 
the yeah the 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 the, the, the issue is like when, when when i think of like um like what xbox is saying like oh yeah we're gonna give uh we're gonna bring call of duty to like PlayStation and and Nintendo for the next 10 years, like that's kind of a drop in the bucket, right? So it, it 20 years is definitely a lot of games, but I don't know, I don't know if it's like enough. Maybe, maybe, maybe 10 years, maybe 15 years. I don't know. I think 20 is because we're talking about classic games, like and uh, maybe it's my age. I don't can like 2003 is pushing it for what I would call a classic game. They so there the the study they qualified that as pre 2010. Is a, mm-hmm. is a quote unquote classic game because that that was that they say that was when uh digital distribution really started becoming like the thing uh for 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 game distribution people it was the like, end of the uh yeah the playstation 2 uh like when the playstation 3 and the xbox 360 kind of kicked in <laughs> Yeah. So, that, so as, as far as far as the study goes they're, they're saying they define classic games as uh, anything prior to 2010 but. Predator 2010, I don't think they're going to be able to sell that. I think that is their compromise number. That's where they want to start with this. Because well, well, probably well, realistically, they, I don't, that's what I'm saying. What do you personally consider like classic? I, because I have a hard time swallowing N64 games being retro at this point. <laughs> but I, but like, I Nir- Nir- Nirvana they, is classic rock, right? <laughs> right, right. What you have to The accept? 90s definitely are starting to qualify as classics because, yes, it's been. 30 years since 1993 mm-hmm. so I, I, I mean yeah I, I guess maybe 20 years if we if we want to use like classic rock as our benchmark yeah maybe yeah <laughs> vintage <laughs> 20 vintage. years yeah retro <laughs> but like uh so the, and this organization is uh their, their their goal right now is just the u.s so as 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 ben said like you would need to have uh, parallel initiatives in like the uk japan canada whatever but uh the as the interview with the with the guy on uh on the completionist channel he's basically saying like at this point they're just trying to get the word out they're trying to like get awareness of this so that they can start like building up their case over time this was their first attempt at like data collection to say like no this is actually a problem here are facts and digits to like back this up now i will uh, go ahead and explain to everybody the uh elephant the retro vintage elephant in the room of why this is going to be extremely difficult to get traction on it's because every single one of us listening knows that we can just go get the game right now if we want to play yes em- 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 emulators exist roms right. exist yeah the pirate bay exists yeah <laughs> And we've said multiple times, like Steam's shown that if you work hard enough, you spend two decades working on a store and you get that friction right and you get that uh, cost benefit working right for everybody. Like, how much piracy has like Steam gotten rid of? Because you just pop. How much piracy did iTunes get rid of when it became so easy to just find the music you wanted? Spotify, right? Like, I I think what boggles the three of us is we're sitting there going. Why are you leaving this money on the table? It, it clearly they hate money. Clearly, <laughs> it's it, it's the wrong type of money, and that's the problem. Then again, like here's another thing you got to think about. Like imagine like figuring out the licensing deals and all that with studios from twenty plus years ago. Like who owns the rights to even? You get what I'm saying? Like all, all the stuff they had to go through to get like 007 back on mm-hmm, as yeah. a modern game with like the movie licensing and tie-ins and like. You got to run into stuff like that. It's interesting. Support them. Yeah. Do it. Yes, it's it, it, it's it's a good cause, and we got we got we got to get like these days. Shit's just getting memory hold, right? Like if it does if it doesn't do well enough, they're just like fucking deleting it now. So pres- yeah. preservation's important. Thank you, data hoarders. Now <laughs> before we get out of here, a little bit of hate mail, Pedro. Oh yes, uh, occasionally we do get some uh, genuine hate mail. And if you'd like to contribute, please do so. LinuxGameCast.com. There's a contact button on the thing. Just uh, once you get to the forum, it means you've scrolled past all of the warnings that nope, you should have read getting down there. Talk. Just just scroll past all those warnings. <laughs> Beep, Don't read them. Boop. See, I'm a human. Human. Yes. Uh, so, uh, yeah, if you don't get past the stone, uh, the stone uh-huh. golem? No. Uh, the uh, spam golem. Uh-huh. Uh, you. <laughs> it's, it's, made, it's made out of processed meat. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, mechanically separated meat. Uh, mechanically separated <laughs> goblin. <laughs> so, 
I mean, gobl- goblins meet. I, I, I don't know about these vegan goblins I mean, you've been eating. Wouldn't you go and watch MSG? Well, it depends on what um, on what lore you're basing on. Because in Dragon's Dogma, the video game, not the anime, the anime was what, shit. What uh, lore are goblins most delicious? Uh, that's what I'm getting to. Uh, in uh, Dragon's Dogma, uh, goblins are tree spirits. In uh, in uh, <laughs> there was a there was a Magic the Gathering novel. I read once and the, 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 there was a line from there that like got stuck in my head. It's like, oh, this stuff tastes terrible. What is it? It's Mog food. Oh, you mean they feed it to the Mogs? No, it's made from Mogs. All I'm hearing is Goblins got a fucking <laughs> vegan option. So we're good. We're good with the Goblins as the uh, <laughs> example. All right. Um, well, we, we got we got one bit of hate mail. Uh, wait, you, 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 you told them how to get in touch with us, right? We've, I, I didn't, Use I didn't the contact out. page, leave a comment <laughs> in the show notes, post on Patreon, wherever we're at, do that. We got there. sidetracked yes. by the goblin. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, did, did, did we finish this? I'm, I'm not sure. First up, we got one from GP talking about shades. One thing missing in the new Steam UI is the ability to see the shader compilation progress in the settings. It's only visible by launching a game with incomplete shaders at the moment. Oh, that far. Or I just window. stare at H top. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, so mm-hmm. Old trusty of like, are, are you doing something right now? <laughs> yeah, it, the, yeah. The the best way to do it is just, just enable that option and walk away for 20 minutes. When you come back, it'll probably be done. <laughs> see, okay. Do you leave um, <laughs> compile shaders in the background? Like normal yeah, person. That, yeah, I, I mm-hmm. do. And I forget about that sometimes. And sometimes it's like, I'm like the fucking back to H top. I'm like, oh, you do it. Fossilize replay, fossilize replay, fossilize replay. But, but, All right, but, okay. then, but then it fucks you up because you download a new <laughs> game and it's like, well, now I got to compile shit. Or it's like, oh, right. Well, I got, I got to do that now. Oh, but how do you really do it, man? Okay, this is the hardest temptation, though. You're like, do I want to wait? Or, or do you want to click wanna play now? It? Like mm. uh, yeah, or or do you get a brand new game or a game that just started working on Linux, mm. and you're one of the first people to actually uh, get into it, and the game freezes for thirty seconds, and you're going, is that a shader? This is it trying to just compile the shader in situ right there, or is, did it? No, crash? I'm still running around screaming. You're welcome, fuckos. Because um. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was my experience with the uh, new worlds. Uh, it was uh, New World, not Worlds. Uh, the it, did, it didn't game. light your computer on fire? Mm-hmm. It did not light my computer on fire, but yeah, it, it. I was one of the first people to get through the entirety of the early game, apparently, because I once I got to the second city, it just started freezing for like 30 seconds and then continuing. It's like, why are you doing... Oh, you're uh... gathering the shaders from my machine. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, this is always good. I mean, I read into it like just crazy. Oh, this is where I got questions. This is why I want that A770. Uh, my 3060 was uh, not an early adopter, but like technically still an early adopter two years later because I got one like soon as they become available to humans. Mm-hmm. Um, I was running into that all the time. I, I was trying to move around in games just like everyone's welcome. You're getting all these uh, <laughs> welcomes to Vin Shader Shack. Uh, I would like visibly. Do I need that? Uh, yeah, to, to what Pedro says, I'll normally just get up and fuck off if it's okay. You know, if it's like, ooh, 130, 60, I'm like, I can wait this out. But it, sometimes it's like, four. It, it, it like, really mm-hmm. depends on the game, too. Because if it's like God of War, yeah, you might as well like get up and go go to the bathroom or something. But yeah, like, right. but the entire time, like when you're in that game, you're like, you better not stutter at all, ever. <laughs> right. Period. Yeah, if, if, if you're, if you're going to wait for that, it's like, mm-hmm. yeah. I, I I paid with my time. You gotta pay with some shaders. <laughs> Someone's gonna cry us so... <laughs> Oh, do they have shader caching in Windows yet? Yes, That's an excellent. Question. As it turns out, DirectX 12 has the exact same issue. It's not just Vulkan. <laughs> All right then. All yes, right then. But, but you can just click next on Windows, so it's fine. <laughs> yeah, on Windows, people don't get the like the initial window like we do of pre-compiling the shaders. Mm-hmm. They're always just in time. Just for funsies, which, for no reason. It just recompiles them. It, it just compiles during while you're playing the game, which is why Elden Ring to this day is still a herky-jerky mess on Windows. Uh, <laughs> just in time. <laughs> yeah. uh, so there is something to be said about running around and compiling shaders under Linux, still. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. It, 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 having that little option to pre-compile them before the game proper starts it's very helpful it, it's better than having to do because everyone knows like here's the 360 look at the floor maneuver of like let's yeah. get this area loaded then you're like all right we're good then you pick the one step to the wrong direction like, 
touchy. No, no, yeah, no, no. The, oh, the, then you move to the new. Now. Yeah, then you move to the new area, and you're like, ah, well, mm-hmm. it's time to do this song and dance again. <laughs> We were talking about AI content creation. This is something that comes up uh, because it's it's due. I mean, it's developing, it's breaking. We're still trying to figure out the ins and outs, the ups and downs. And uh, Jan writes in, uh, it's like AI is pretty useful for people starting with nothing, to which that is the point I've definitely argued. Uh, Plus, it can lead to false flagging. I guess maybe and it could also lead to false flagging because we were talking about Steam dealing with AI. And, you know, they've clarified Mm -hmm. it and Steam clarified it by going, we're fucking working on it. We don't know 100% just yet. Um, this is, well, at least itch.io is open source and hence a good alternative to Steam, I guess. Maybe that's the point that's trying to be made here. So if you want to do your AI dumpster fire uh, hand... Like the Unity ghetto, like all of the other ones, yes, go to itch first. Absolutely. So Someone someone needs to make, like, uh, there was, there's that pizza commercial, like Pizza Time. Someone needs to make Pizza Time the game. No, they don't. <laughs> Yes, they do. No. Um, <laughs> right, right. The horror, like, face melt shit. You're like, okay. That's, uh, you know, the Y boater. But, uh, or, or, or the, oh, the, the beer commercial was also great. <laughs> I've definitely seen some good ones with that. Um, you know what? Like, it's going to get policed a lot by users and individuals. Uh, as, long as, you, as long as tags exist, like, you're, you're going to know pretty quick if this is like you know if this is like some ai nothing game you know like that's one of the good things about like comments and reviews on games and valve's not gonna being a tool for prototyping and arting what would you rather have though jordan would you rather have some really bad ai generated uh assisting art or would you have the just straight up programmer art of like gap ah, here's a block you Do you want pop. your squiggles or stable diffusion squiggles? Like, uh, to, to, to which point I would say, like, honestly, either is fine. My issue is, like, you should pro- like you should probably find something to clean for, find someone to clean that up and do some, like, actual assets if you're going to, like, once you, like, exit the prototyping stage. Um, well, I did. I bought the license from Adobe. Yes. Which is all trained on their data. Indeed. I, but again, uh, like, yes, you can always make the you can always make the arguments for the small creators, but it's always going to be the big corporations that are really going to abuse the fuck out of it. So, yeah, but they have uh, the money to get away with it. it it's the the small guys that can't. <laughs> yeah, but then it's also putting like the small indie artists and indie animators and indie voice actors out of work as well. So, like, mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, there I mean, there, you- there, 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 need, there needs to be some something's tech guy protection right like yeah i don't know i mean like if, if your like thing is is like yeah i'm available on fiverr like if that's where you're going for art uh yeah i can see ai being your solution right there mm-hmm. yeah and, it, the, and the, the, there's then there's always going to be a quality thing like uh like an actual artist is uh, like with working with intent is always going to like working with intent and like uniform yeah. like that uh, that's why i'm like yo you, you get like the full package and you're able to do you know animation rigging and of course like 3d modeling and stuff like that even when it's just like with stable diffusion stuff in 3ds you're going to still have a superior product uh what ai for now yeah do we do we do feel like future laws Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. It's, uh, the part that's the, the the thing with the growth of AI and what it can do and what it may very well be able to do in the short future. Uh, it's um, it's going to be interesting to see what laws will need to be changed. Mm. Yeah, and it, and I'll, I'll, and like a lot of the times, it's going to be like, oh, well, we're not gonna we're not gonna put a rule in place until something egregious happens. Yeah. But like then, then something really egregious can happen, or many <laughs> the small warning solution can- is like. There's a uh, there's a story behind every warning label. Yeah. Yeah. So so like I I, I don't know. I, it behooves us to be cautious, but it also behooves us to like keep an open mind. And ultimately, at the end of the day, is with all things technology based, don't give a fuck. It's full power forward. It's going to happen, whether or not by the time you get around to like legislating that, like come yeah. On. Law, law, law is always going to take forever to catch up. Yeah, and that's version gonna nine's already out. Um, it's going to and it's going to miss the point anyways. Look at the DMCA. That right. was legislation about the internet made in like eighty five, 
those those mm-hmm. decisions those were those were really forward thinking right but like oh dude uh i think the biggest most important thing to me when it comes to ai be it with gaming or anything else is we got to keep it open that that's the big thing so everybody has access to it make it a level playing field in that aspect open and yeah the, as available as possible for anyone and everyone who wants or has the inclination to or will because uh, like that's going to become a thing you know like the whole as yeah. much as we like to joke around about prompt <laughs> people, prompt engineers like, yeah like, uh, that's yes. what do you do i'm a prompt engineer <laughs> all hail the omni sire <laughs> i'm a tech priest <laughs> hey I, I I mean, at that point, you might as well just like go to work in the full tech priest cosplay. I yeah, mean, these no, are the uh, steps seriously, we, I'll join the Adeptus Mechanicus. I don't these care. These are the steps just we need to me. take before we get to that menu in uh, Idiocracy at the Hospital. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to Costco. I love you. <laughs> we can just push that walk button. It'll be awesome. All right. So we're going to tech priest up out of here. Everyone, it's been fun, but we need to um, thank a couple people. Yes, we do. We do. Uh, we're th- learning. We're trying to yes, do show, show, show. We're, 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 we're rearranging stuff. So uh, <laughs> this this podcast runs entirely on your support. We don't really run ads, uh, except on Twitch, where we have to sometimes. But We don't uh, run them. We don't run them. Yeah, Twitch, Twitch does. Runs them. <laughs> yes, we, 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 have, we have minimal involvement. In that. But uh, you can support us by heading on over to the many ways to support us. Patreon.com slash Gamecast is probably the best one. You can also best give us your Bezos button. Gamecast.com. Hit the support button. Yes. Everything's on one page. Yes. Give it, give us your Bezos bucks. If you got like a Twitch prime subscription, click on us. You can get access to our uh, discord channel. You can get access to that via both uh, Patreon and our Twitch, uh, Twitch subs. Get in there. Our Suhita game streams. Ven does track mania on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I do random shit on or Fridays. I do random shit on Thursdays. Uh, Patrick and co they have stuff going on on Sundays. Uh, if you want to play some deep rock galactic or gunfire reborn, they're, they're going through a lot of like the, the multiplayer shooters as well. So if you want to, so like if you, if you want to play games with Linux users, get in our discord. There's, there's a bunch of them who want to play games with you. Hot, sexy Linux users want to get in the lobby with you. Uh, we have so- <laughs> near you. <laughs> we, we got a store as well. Store.linuxgamecast.com. Get some merch. Uh, we got Wish Zones as well. Uh, you can buy stuff off them, help furnish our respective studios. If you buy Ven something, you can get your name in lights above him with that busted LED flashing. Uh, that, uh, J- uh, Jill got you one of you guys something, right? Not me. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, Jill got me a gift card. Thank you. Thank you very much, Jill. Uh, I I have a sneaking suspicion of making the joke about uh, dreading the Adeptus Mechanicus, and I may very well buy the um, hired gun necromunda game uh that I, it's been on my radar for a while it's either between that and bolt gun because i'm on a 40k binge apparently <laughs> so yeah <laughs> thank you jill thank you so much <laughs> all right yeah. now we can hear the music maybe ladies and gentlemen that's gonna do it for this episode 560 nice of Linux Game Guest. We're going to be back next week, always, right here live on Twitch at 8.30. Unless it's not 8.30, then whenever it starts, that's when we'll be around. Get in touch with me. I'm on the social medias. I'm still on that Bluebird thing at Vinstone. But I hear you say, what about the Mastodons? I like old school mass.linuxgamecast.com. Federated. It's there. It's awesome. I'm not on threads. <laughs> I'm in our Discord <laughs> at Vin on IRC. Join up. Uh, Jordan, you're you're gonna get on threads though, right? Yeah, no, I I, I love me some Facebook. I I am I am the Zuck Cuck. Uh, I'm Jordan. <laughs> you can find me on uh, Mastodon at Frojo at Mastodonlinuxgamecast.com. I'm really not using Twitter as much anymore because it's kind of gone to poo poo. But you can still follow me there at the Burning Fool and of course Twitch.tv slash Burning Fool. Yeah, yeah, Twitch, uh, Twitch. Well, Twitch also has, but uh, Twitter is the biggest offender lately, and it's really become. Very, very not good as a place to be. Uh, so yeah, I've I've started using Mastodon more, uh, unaccounted for with the actual number four at mass.linuxgamecast.com. Uh, I, I'm gonna be posting most of the same stuff that I used to post on Twitter's video games, technology, and <laughs> so other stuff. So effectively, stay tuned to Pedro's stream of nothing. Static. Mostly nothing. Shh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's roll some credits.
Isn't that just milk? Not if it's concentrated. Can you get concentrated cheese? I guess. Um, you can get like, concentrated milk, yes. <laughs> can you get concentrating uh, cheese? Can we get concentrated milk? Hey, bring me my concentrating cheese. And we gotta thank, uh, we gotta <laughs> concentrate extra hard and thank Barb Ramp, Scott Michaud, Atomic Ass, Mike G, Drummer Pebble, Tomas, Hakim, Dave, and Ishep, and our little Nikki fans always squeezing those pineapples up Chicago out of uncomfortable spots. Ass. Super Dust Out, Empty, Glorious Egg Roll, and Blast Blast. Plenty of sea monsters, Renault, Rider X, Mach, and Avera Tenuta, Justin, Nub, and Darkwing System, TDS, Inju, Ogi, Von, Chiral, and Trage. Woo! And the Death Notes, Nova, Basil, Chad, Romeo, Marson, Renee, Leonardo, DeCresny, Kim, Chris, Stephen, Jill, there they are. Oh Benjamin, shit, Benjamin, Doom, to the Watch, cheese out of condensed v, milk? Dirty when does it stop? Back, Gamatron, Dodgers, <laughs> Andrew, Gaming, Root, Turnover, Right, there's gotta be a limit for the technology. Stop, Stop, Jalo, Piper. An aromatic death. Hey, thank all of you. Too many chairlings to think, but you're all, you're all <laughs> truly wonderful. It's a tsunami of chairs, <laughs> which is awesome. That's the best guy. And all of our fine upstanding animals. Carl, Mike, Arthur, and Linux Nero. All these. Noctilus. John. Eshep. Demetron. You know it. Yes and Joe. Aromatic death. And Kai Jory. Look at that. Nailed it. We did it. As always. We, did it. we got through it, man. We, we what, made what, it. What, what How did that feel? How, how That's did that right. feel? Like, it, was a, it was a little long. I, I kind of have to pee by the end of it, but like, yeah. Absolutely, I need to pee, but no, that, that worked. <laughs> we'll see you next week, everyone. <laughs> Down to five. LGC bottles coming soon. <laughs> we still need the catheters. Right. Sports baby catheters. Bottles with, with, yeah, baby bottles with Frank on them. Sports catheter. <laughs> Tactical catheter. Yes. <laughs> to go with our Gun tactical metal. claymore. Yeah. <laughs> Five dudes. <laughs>